Here are some counters. Let's see what we can find out. Mm -hmm. Try these red counters. Put one on the number two. And now count by twos and we'll see what happens. Two, cover them four, up. Two, that's right, four, cover them up. Six, six eight. Good. Eight, ten. Yeah, keep going, we'll get. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Lovely. Okay. Then I'd say to students, let's read the numbers that are covered by a counter. So mm -hmm. let's try that. Let's do it together. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And I say to the students, what are we doing? And they reply quite rightly, we're counting by twos. Mm -hmm. The difference is though, if I do it without the hundreds board, lots of students can do it verbally, mm. but it becomes recitation without understanding. Mm -hmm. When they're looking at the hundreds board, they can see there are numbers between the ones we're saying Right. And they get the idea of what skip counting is. I don't have to count by ones to get to 20. You're skipping over a number. I'm skipping over a number. Mm -hmm. And they can see the numbers that are missing. Mm -hmm. I also like to ask students when I get to this uh, pattern, what number's covered by the fourth counter? What number is covered by the fourth counter? Eight. So what do you think that means? And you better get this right, because I've seen lots of five and six year olds who do know what it means. <laughs> I would say four jumps of two is eight. Four jumps of two is eight. And they get the idea of the fact that I've counted the same number four times, four mm. twos are eight, or four lots of two, or jumps of two makes eight. Mm -hmm. They're moving towards multiplicative thinking mm -hmm. when that happens. What else do we notice about this? Two, twelve, four, 14, 6, 16, and if we had more counters, we could see the pattern continuing.